hitting the beach or pool is a great way, of course, to stay cool, but getting in the water could be risky for many especially if you don't know how to swim. Yeah, according to the CDC, black children between the ages of 10 and 14 are eight times more likely to drown in a swimming pool than white children. But one New Yorker is doing her part to reduce the risk by smashing the stereotype that black people don't swim. Yeah, pa Paulana Lamonier is the CEO and the founder of the organization Black People Will Swim. And she joins us live from the York Athletic Facility in Jamaica, Queens. So research shows that, hello, good to see you, 64% of black children have wow. little to no ability to swim. Does that surprise you? And I know there's a little bit of delay, but does that surprise you? It do, it's not surprising simply because when we really look at history and what has prevented black and brown people from learning this life skill, it has a triple effect, right? And so our program is created simply to make sure that we are making swim lessons are accessible, affordable, and creating an inclusive place where black people can learn how to swim. Hi, Paulana, it's Ernie here. What do you find is the biggest fear people have about swimming? Where do I start? I think one, the whole concept of like your feet not touching the ground, representation, and really just making sure that someone who looks like them is creating that safe space, right? Yeah, Paul, you know, learning to swim in a pool. Well, that's one thing. That's how I learned to swim. But in the ocean, mm -hmm. it's a completely different matter. You have waves, you have currents, you have sharks. How can people take what they learn in the pool and apply it to the ocean? Well, for starters, we make sure that people are safe. If any instant that you are feeling a bit uneasy, we make sure that you don't go in water that is past your knees or past your hips, correction. All right, Paulana, okay. you're gonna show then us secondly, some tips. Secondly, we wanna make sure that we're teaching Oh, sorry. Okay, go ahead. You're going to show us some tips. The first one is floating on your back. Yes, I have my instructor extraordinaire, Randy, who's going to be joining us. And right now we're going to show you, for today's world's largest swim lesson, we're going to show you, number one, how to float on your back. All right, let's do that float quick. We're running out of time. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. Go. Come on. Randy, go. All right. So we're going to show how to float on your back. You're going to make the letter T. You make. You want to make sure your chin is up to the ceiling. And you're going to make sure that your arms are out. Like I said, letter T and your legs are together or out like a starfish. Ah. Okay. Very nice. All right. Paulana, Good job, Randy. Randy. <laughs> Thank you both. Really appreciate it. Great to see you both. And for information on swim lessons, by the way, at Black People Will Swim, visit the website. It is right there on your screen.